Hi, I'm Cheryl. And I'm John. And welcome to Watson Weekends. Episode 33. And uh, I got a haircut. I just got a haircut. That's haircut really good. Today. For everyone who's listening, I got a haircut and it looks great. <laughs> yeah. If you say so yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, just, just think about what it looks like and it looks way better than even what you think. Or you can just check out the video. Come on, on <laughs> over here on YouTube. So yeah, it is February 23rd. And then our next episode is going to come out March 29th. So we got like a big gap of things we got to talk about and all this stuff. So today, right now, Rocky Button, go there. Leatherface has got a show. We're going to play with uh, Phone It In. So we're excited about that. It's going to be real fun. And nice. uh, yeah, the 28th will be Leap Year. So show some love to oh, yeah. everybody born on Leap Year because... It's their birthday and happy birthday. I don't know anyone born on leap year, do you? Uh, well, one of my sisters is born the day before. Mm. So she almost close. Yeah. <laughs> got, the, got the cutoff. Yeah. I don't know if she's born on a leap year year, but mm. yeah. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. close. Right. Yeah. So shout out to everybody born on leap year. <laughs> it's going to be your, your year for sure. Uh, and then Love the also has another show on the first. Uh, March 1st, and it's going to be at Lane Lab. You should check that out. And then speaking of Lane Lab and everything else, and I think I said Lane Lab kind of weird, <laughs> but PMF is happening, Performing Media Festival, and um, I'm going to be doing a lot of sound stuff for that. Um, the It's going to start from the 7th, which is going to be at IUSB. Uh, come check that out. The 8th will be at Lane Lab. I won't really be doing sound much. I think they have their own sound person there. I think Khalil's gonna be up there. So, so, um, and then, and then the night is gonna be at uh, De Bardlow at uh, DPAC. So, oh, I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's gonna be back at Bar- De Bardlow. So I'll be working with Kevin again. It's and awesome so. that uh, Olivier made that connection. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. 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 Now we're like hanging out with them all the time. <laughs> not all the time. Oh, and also Kevin is going to be performing. He's in a band. I'm not sure what, but immediately, like right after that, he's going to run the sound check. So nice. It should be wrapping up right on time. Do we say who he is? Or is that obvious? Oh, um, yeah. He's just the guy that does sound at the Bartolo, um, the Browning Cinema. And uh, he gave us a tour yeah. once through he's, school, yeah. through IOSB. So I guess a uh, relationship was for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, so, that's cool. I'm in the ABC Ensemble. It's a audio visual collective, and uh, we performed in uh, the Browning Cinema. So it's another point of talking. And uh, the posters were made for PMF over here. Big posters, but check them out. Um, if you see them around town at random places, that's me. It's my job really to like put them up around so hopefully you see some stuff got lots of performances um marion boucher is going to be in town i think she's from canada or something like oh, that nice um we have people come in from all over the world for this kind of stuff like last year we have like a french lady do some stuff a dude from sweden was in there doing some stuff it's real cool also check out um the uh south bend museum of art i always forget what it's called? <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> but I mean, here's the sponsors for all the PMF stuff. Um, but usually through like January, late March, they have the installations up so you can see exactly who's performing and what their piece is about and all that. So pretty cool. So that's happening. And you guys should come to that. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll put all the information there. Yeah, she's going to be there. You can get, have a meet and greet with Cheryl. Oh God! <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> happening. So check that out, and then and then later in March we got St. Patty's Day. Yeah, I saw Ari like Myers putting up some stuff for St. Patty's Day. And, oh yeah, that's coming up. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what's happening between now and the next episode. Come see Leather Face. Um, come come to PMF and see a bunch of really cool stuff. Yeah. Whew. Plugged it all. all. Right. Plugged it all. Okay. So now what we did last last episode, last episode we talked about Wonka, the new movie. We really liked it. It was pretty yeah. cool. 
and we uh, I can't remember exactly how we got there but we talked about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory mm -hmm. the Tim Burton movie and we were like make a joke about uh Helena Bonham Carter being in it we oh were, yeah we weren't I was sure like, is Helena Bonham Carter in it just because it's Tim Burton yeah and I was like oh it's just a joke and you're like I don't think so or something like that I don't remember exactly what we said yeah and we looked it up and she was like one she of the main was she was in it and she was one of the main characters <laughs> totally forgot about that she played the mom but yeah yeah I didn't see it so I didn't know it's funny we looked up the uh the Rotten Tomato score on that, and I can't remember. I think it, it was, was low. It was pretty low. Yeah. Should we see how how low it was? The Charlie and the Chocolate Factory one. Yeah. Sure, I can look it up. Okay. Because I wrote down. We've compared scores. Crazy. I want to know why it was crazy. I can't remember what was happening in that. It's gonna take uh, me a second. Okay. Yeah. Um. For guys, I mean, it's it's funny when it came out. The Johnny Depp one is what we're also talking about. In case you didn't know, Tim Burton directed it. It was it was okay when it came out, and it was something that was like, all right, sure, Tim Burton, Johnny Depp, they're both rad. Now it's like, man, this the movie sucks. It's not great, not cool. So, have you seen it? I don't remember. Have you seen it? Or did you, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> I just repeated what you said. Yeah, have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen that. So I'm saying like it's not good. Yeah. I was confused because I said that I did watch it a lot. Um, um, so do you want to guess what it is? Okay, sure. Uh, we did this last time. I think we can bring this back. I'm going to play this. I'm just going to go straight guess. 47. You're going for the thermometer? Score? Yeah. Thermometer. No, it's way higher. Okay. Okay. 62. Higher than that. 79. Pretty close, 83. Oh, I ran out of time anyways. Do you want to guess the audience score? Audience score is probably pretty low, right? It's definitely lower. <laughs> mm, 52. 51. 51. Wow. Okay. Huh. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and I remember Wonka being way better, so. It, it, it was better. It was better. It was better. Do you want to guess the Wonka? The Wonka Scores? one? I knew yeah. we did this last episode and I can't remember. I think it was like in the 90s. Was it lower than that? The thermometer is lower. Yeah. Okay. 85. 82. 82. Okay. Audience score is 91. 91. Okay. That was in the 90s. That's what. So it's funny that it's like switched with Charlie and Chocolate Factory. It's like. The, with the audience versus the audience, yeah. Rotten Tomatoes things. Right, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Rotten Tomatoes is funny. They be doing weird stuff there. Anyway. So, yeah. Also, talking about last episode, I mentioned for my resolutions that I kind of want to find a band that I really like. To be obsessed with, I think is to what be you a, said. Yeah, to be obsessed with. And I think I found a band to be obsessed <laughs> Who with. Who could they be? No. The band is Idols. This is nice. a band that I've heard of before, but I haven't really listened to them. And British, right? British rock band. Um, and rock can be like a loose term, but they experiment with sounds. Basically, they're a punk band who does a bunch of other stuff. Right. Yeah. But um, I was just on YouTube, and YouTube suggested uh, for me to watch a new single music video from them. And uh, I usually don't click on that kind of stuff, but I clicked on it. It was Gift Horse. And I was like, this You're is like, holy crap. This is so good. <laughs> yeah. And then the other single they have, uh, Dancer, I listened to that or watched the video for that too. And I was like, okay, I got to show Cheryl this band. This band's pretty rad. And I like them too. Yeah. So we've been listening to them a lot. Um, yeah. Their album, their new album, their fifth one just came out. And those two songs, Gift Horse and Dancer, are on that album. It's a good album. It's very like more mellowed out than what they're used to, what they've been putting out. But yeah, uh, it definitely is more mellow. Yeah, but they they just still got some rocking upbeat songs. Yeah, I hate that I said rocking. <laughs> <laughs> we just listened to the whole thing in its entirety yeah. yesterday for the first time. Yeah, and yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So if you, they're also. 
I guess it can get political in some way. I'd say, yeah. 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 They're they are, they are a political band. And um, they definitely have opinions and yeah. let everybody know it. Mm -hmm. For sure. So I like that a lot about them too. It's like they, they seem to be like on a, on a cool side of things. Yeah. I feel like, especially if you're going to be considered a punk band, you kind of have to. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. And yeah. So uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. I like them a lot. We like them so much, in fact, that we bought tickets to see them. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to see them in September in Chicago. It's really exciting. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. It's going to be yeah, really cool. me too. And um, Got to start saving money for that trip. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely got to buy some merch. Mm -hmm. Vinyl. Yeah. CDs. Yeah. The whole band seems really cool. So if you want to listen to something new and you want to hear some music that ranges from like indie rock to post-punk punk stuff like that you know um that's a good band to check out they're yeah. pretty cool yeah but yeah and then someone just had a birthday it's me she just had a birthday. <laughs> it seems long ago now though yeah it was right I mean, I guess like she three weeks or something yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 it's been about that yeah We've been spacing out these episodes for a while. Even just earlier, I was like, how do I set things up again? Like, what yeah. was going on? But I don't know. The video's been lagging a little bit, but it seems to be okay now. Yeah. No, not, awesome. not too bad. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, your birthday. Yeah. That was fun. What did we do? I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah. We went to Kalamazoo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we checked out some places. Some vintage clothing shops that I like. Yeah. And that was cool. Yeah. Went to a little sandwich shop to grab a bite. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, and like it was in the downtown Kalamazoo Mall, I think they call it, mm -hmm. that area. And uh, it's not an actual mall. <laughs> I think they just call that area a mall. Yeah. It was just and, a lot of uh, shops. Yeah. Um, it's a bike over to you. <laughs> okay. Just kind of seemed like it was closer to me than. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Yeah. And hopefully it didn't. Get weird audio doing that. Well, um, there were a ton of people downtown in Kalamazoo, oh, yeah. and a lot of people just walking around drinking beer and stuff. And we asked one of the shop owners, like, "What's going on out there?" And they said it was a chili cook-off. So yeah, at first, like, we can do that. We can walk around with beer. Apparently, yeah. So, but we were doing. <laughs> Maybe that's not an issue. Maybe that's yeah. not illegal in Michigan. <laughs> that's probably why Kalamazoo is so cool. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But we were doing dry, dry January, so we weren't drinking, but we did drink on your birthday. We did drink later on. Yeah, that was the end of our dry January, because my birthday is January 28th, so. I mean, it's close enough. Yeah, close enough. I mean, but yeah, and then uh, we've been going back to not drinking as much, too, so. But we are drinking. We're drunk right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was really cool. It was fun. And then we, we did go out to eat. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Papa Vino's. Papa Vino's. Yeah, it's like been our go-to place recently. Yeah. We just ate there yesterday too. Celebrate Valentine's Day. I know. Day. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we like it. We like yeah, Papa Vino's is rad. And it was a good time too. I really like the uh I don't know. The atmosphere. It can have, yeah, it can yeah. have a good vibe in there. Like the lights are a little bit dimmer and like mm. they're playing like Sinatra and yeah. stuff. Which I really like. I don't know. I just like that vibe. It is weird how the the songs would go to something else. Like Jason Mraz was playing. You're like, oh, yeah. you know, what the fuck? But then it goes back to the Rat Pack and you're like, oh, okay. This is, this is better. Yeah. Or Billy Holiday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, okay, that's cool. I like that a lot. Right. We don't all, we gotta hear Beyonce all the time, you know. <laughs> or maybe we do. <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> well, there was a lot of like... I guess because there's a lot of people celebrating Valentine's Day. So you're going to say celebrating Beyonce. There's, oh, yeah. Well, we got to celebrate Beyonce, too. Her new country album. I haven't listened to anything from it yet. Yeah. I I didn't even know about it until yesterday, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. I was looking at the New York Times, and there was some article about, I guess, a country station yeah. refused to play her song or Last something like that. Or, yeah, her album. And then I didn't read the article. Yeah. I just read the headline, honestly. Yeah. But I was like, oh, huh. Okay. Yeah. Beyonce's doing that now. Yeah. All right. 
Well, I was like, well, that makes sense now because of the Grammys. She was just with the cowboy hat and everything. Mm, yeah. So, like, so the whole album is country? I think so. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, I heard, I saw that article like a week ago or something like that. And that's huh. when I found out too. I wonder what inspired her to do that. Yeah, I'm I don't curious. know. I guess just doing different stuff, maybe. Anyway, maybe the the random music station was playing some random songs or whoever's doing the music there because uh, there's a lot of young people there. Well, like a lot of people from prom or something like that. At uh, Papa Vino's. Oh, I was like, where? What are you talking about? <laughs> I know we did go on a tangent. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about Beyonce for a bit, yeah. but I was trying to get back to it. I was like, like, the Super Bowl? <laughs> the Super Bowl? I was like, oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the Super Bowl happened too. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know why those kids were dressed up at uh, Papa Vino's because prom is like in. Yeah, May, I don't, I don't I thought, understand prom when like it happens, but uh, I was just giving an example of like people were dressed all fancy. You didn't stuff. go to your prom? I did not. I mean, I didn't miss much. Yeah, I, I don't know what I did in school. I dropped out. I did that. And now I'm in college. So things are okay. <laughs> so um, drop out. So I drop out. But I immediately got my, uh, what's it called? GED. I, I did that. And then I went to school online. So I have my associate's degree. And I'm working on my bachelor's right now. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That is really cool. Yeah. Because I was like, I didn't want to drop out. But also, I was like, I just, I just got to do other things right now. So, I wish I could have dropped out of high school. My mom would have killed me. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it was the opposite. I hated high school. <laughs> me. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, high school wasn't great. I know. I was ready to be done with it. I remember when I was that age, just thinking like. I can't wait to be on my own and like paying my own bills and have a job and like I yeah. wanted all the adult stuff. Like, yeah, I couldn't wait. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm totally happy with things where it was now or where it is now compared to where it was because like it was a different. It was just different. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Anyway, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Drop out, listen to Beyonce, go to Papa Pino's. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. You can yeah, choose. You can just, yeah, you can, or you can do it all at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Skip school, go to Papa Vino's, listen to Beyonce. Yeah. She endorses it. I don't know. I don't nice. know. Anyway, yeah, we had a fun day, fun time at Papa Vino's. And then on your birthday, we watched Party Girl. Oh, yeah. I. It's from the 90s. 90s. Seems like it, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I had heard about this movie and had never seen it so and i love parker posey and yeah. she's like the star so i wanted to check it out yeah parker it was cool, interesting and i never heard of it either yeah it was interesting yeah. it was pretty cool it was definitely 90s but there's like parts of it where it's like you could see it like commonly referenced maybe in like a gif or jif however you pronounce mm. it but there's like scenes of it like yeah it was really funny Cool. The premise is she's in New York. She goes like she's a, probably early twenties, I would guess, and like partying. She's party girl, mm -hmm. <laughs> hence the title. But uh, she goes to party and stuff, and she gets in trouble and ends up. Oh, she needs a job, and she talks to her godmother. I think it was who works in a library, and she's like, "Well, you can work here," and yeah. So then she works at a library and it transforms her life. The as way libraries do. The way she got her job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for, for real though. Yeah. True that. The way it happened was like, oh, you, you couldn't work here. And then she's like, you don't think I could work at your fucking library? <laughs> yeah. And she's like, okay, fine. So, I mean, that's, that's one way to get a job. And then at the beginning, she does suck really bad and she does something wrong and... Mm -hmm. She owns the Dewey Decimal system. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then she like it turns it all around and like becomes the best librarian ever. <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> While still partying. Yeah. You still got a party. <laughs> and she was making moves. She was like planning things and like putting things in motion. Yeah. To, like, uh, event I'm organizer. Yeah. yeah. So she really like got it together. <laughs> it's it's a cool movie. Yeah. It's it's a good one. I wonder what the. Uh, 
Rotten Tomatoes? Yeah, look, we'll look, look, yeah let's look that up. Okay. I can't look things up. I, I record this with my phone. <laughs> but yeah. Um, well, what are we going to talk about? Oh, <laughs> I, I am playing a new game. I, I don't usually play games, especially when school's crazy, hectic, and stupid, but... Video game? Video game, yep. I saw the... I, so, I'm playing Sims 4. Hmm. All right, crazy. I've never played any crazy. Sims game, and it's free, so like I'll download this, and I've been playing that. And we learned there's a paid version, though. Yeah. Like a deluxe version. I didn't know that I know, until yeah. we were watching Trixie. Yeah, 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 Trixie. It's just funny because I've been playing that, and then I was like, there's a video that we've missed. It's crazy of uh, Trixie. On our YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. yeah. Playing Sims. So I was like, oh, let's check that out. So it's, it's funny. <laughs> So it's, it's pretty fun. This is fun. I played Sims a long time ago. It was probably like the original version or yeah. something. Like it was a long, long time ago and barely remember it. But I remember it was cool, like start and set everything up. But then I got bored with it. Yeah. I mm -hmm. wasn't like into making sure they eat and go to the bathroom. And right. Stuff like that. And it's like kind of annoying. Shocking. Like... I don't have kids. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Like, do this and then you, you gotta go to work like, nah. everything takes forever yeah <laughs> i don't know oh it's funny because like in in uh in the game i just want to be clear we have a kid i got a kid in the game and i named it danny nadelko which is a song from idols who is uh also a real person who's in the singer of heavy longs heavy long I haven't listened to them yet. I will eventually. It's on my list because I want to know more about this Danny Nadelko person. Yeah, I especially when she was a baby. I was yeah. like, I love that you named your daughter <laughs> Danny Nadelko. Yeah. Also, I couldn't remember it was a girl, but it just makes it funnier. But I mean, Danny's a girl name, though, but it's really? just like Danny yeah. Nadelko. That's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the... Uh... She's got red hair, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My, my sim character... I try to keep it like, okay, I do have blonde hair, but I have a red beard. Now I got gray hair. The person who I ended up marrying in the game is a redhead. Not anymore, though. Not anymore. She's also got gray hair. But <laughs> my daughter, who's like 10 right now. Which I don't understand. Because I, like, I think yesterday or something, I was like, how old are your characters now to have like a full head of gray hair, both of them? They I can guess... only be like 40? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm in my forties. I don't know, but I think uh, I'm kind of skewed on that though because some a lot of people do have completely gray yeah, hair by that time. Yeah. yeah, it depends. And I got gray hair before my wife in the game, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Anyways, what was the uh, score? Did from? you just lick? I did. Oh, because I, I might be like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can. Okay, I forgot. Okay, let's okay. go. All right. Clear your mind. Clear. Like I an edge of sketch. I did it. Shake it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want me to give you like choices for the thermometer score for Party Girl, or you just want to guess? You just guess. I just. I didn't really get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's eighty-two. I God, think it's correct. eighty-two. Yeah, yeah. amazing. That wow! You it. Awesome. Great guess. <laughs> did you see the audience score? Uh, I think I saw it in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, 76? 75. 75. Okay. That's crazy. Come on, audience. <laughs> get it together. That's a good one. I it's got to be. I like, think you like the movie more than I did, honestly. I thought it was cool. I, I thought it was pretty cool, too. But, I mean, I think maybe I'm checking I probably would have liked it more when it was new. Oh, yeah. I think it would have been cooler. To see it when it came out like that yeah when it was more like current and like is it considered hit, you know uh, what I'm yeah is it considered a cult classic i would guess so yeah yeah <clears throat> I, I can see that yeah i'm glad we watched it though yeah that was cool did something new and then we we tried like <clears throat> weird mixed drinks from cans and stuff i don't know we tried uh, that yeah it was all right no it was the bottles yeah yeah we tried we, also camps before. Yeah. We usually prefer beers. If you listen to us or follow us at all, you yeah. probably know this. Right. But uh, we decided, we saw these cans, no, these bottles of, uh, it was like a cock, ready, already pre-mixed cocktail, yeah, cocktail kind of thing. Yeah. 
and uh, they were not good. Yeah. <laughs> it's because one was like, a tequila one, and that one was super bad. Yeah, and the other one was like vodka, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, which is better. Yeah, it was better. I mean, like when we go to like Papa Vino's or the Vine in Elkhart, we've been getting like mixed drinks. And yeah, like, I think they just. But I guess you gotta make them fresh like that for it to be as good as what it is. We don't always get like cocktails when we go out to dinner because that's just expensive. It is expensive, yeah. And uh, but once in a while we we will. And yeah. It's just fun. It just it elevates fun, yeah. the whole experience. Totally. If you drink. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you if you if you drink, you don't have to drink. Of course, have a good time and whatever. But like. Yeah, but thank you. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. It's fun though. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like drinking. So I think we just, we're going back to beers. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. Cause it's like, you can't really do that unless you, you're going to put the, uh, the time and money to make that yeah. yourself, you know? I would much rather make cocktails at home if we're going to do like at home right. drinking or something. Like, yeah. I would much rather, much, much rather yeah. <laughs> make our own drinks yeah. than buy like, pre-made mixes totally because they're just not very good and yeah, they're like full yeah. of sugar sugar yeah yeah especially a lot it's just just funky i went through a phase i told you that i i was making manhattans oh yeah that was pretty fun <laughs> well we can do that you do you remember yeah. how to make them uh not the top of my head but i know it's really easy and we could just look at recipes too yeah, yeah. it's like whiskey and i think bitters and oh, yeah. i don't remember what else like an orange peel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do, <laughs> We're that. Gonna do that. It's been confirmed <laughs> okay. on the podcast that we're going to be doing that now. Okay. Um, we also checked out the uh, the first record show in South Bend. The first one ever. The first one ever. Just kidding. No, for us, the first one ever. <laughs> They've been doing it for a long time, and this is the first one of the year. And uh, Yeah. Unfortunately, I did not stop by a bank first to get money. Well, I mean, the event on Facebook did say like there will be like cash only, but some vendors will take or use Square or whatever. Yeah. And uh, so we thought we'd be okay, but it seemed right. like most of them took cash only. Yeah. And then the so. ATM there uh, did not work. Oh, yeah. It was out of order. Yeah. It's like, dang. Horrible planning, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, it just sucks. But uh, I had enough like cash Like the hotel could have made so much money if yeah. they would have had their ATM working. Totally. Because it was in a hotel. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, okay. it. yeah. <laughs> it's in a hotel. It was um, kind of by St. Mary's or something. Yeah. Um, I forgot what it's called. But anyways, didn't get any records, but I got a book. Got an Iggy Pop book. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Over there, it's... Oh, actually, I think the mic might be covering it up. <laughs> But it's over there and uh yeah got that so um there were some records i saw that was pretty cool that i want but kind of ex more expensive than i thought it would be and it turns out i couldn't buy them anyway because like, they don't take those, those cards and i couldn't get cash yeah but we're gonna check them out eventually and we're gonna have money i think that's the thing that we're gonna like save money up for yeah because it'd be cool to get some cool stuff yeah some records are freaking expensive like uh -huh. vinyl yeah. It could be pretty pricey. Yeah. They're like, well, we got to look for uh, aisles. <laughs> By the time I was getting into them, but couldn't find any stuff like that. But there's a lot of cool stuff there. Everybody there was pretty nice. There is, I didn't really see anything I wanted except I saw a jazz record. Oh, yeah. I wish I could remember the guy's name. I looked him up and he's Canadian, yeah. I think. Uh, but I asked the guy working at the, that stall. That booth, and he's like, I don't know who that is. Yeah. I, don't, I don't listen to jazz. Like, something like that. Yeah. I'm like, okay. That's where I bought my book, too. And I don't know, the cover looked interesting. Yeah. So I probably would have gotten that if anything, but you know. Yeah. We didn't have any cash. There's a lot of cool stuff that I saw that I'd be like, oh, that'd be, that'd be cool to have. I do like this and I would appreciate it. But it's also like, you know, I'm not rich and I don't need to buy a bunch of like stuff I not don't yet. really need. Right, totally. But it's like, all right, here's what I'm looking for. And I found the things I'm looking for, but it was just a little too expensive for me at the time. So I'm going to come back and when we have some money and we can really splurge. Yeah. Get some good stuff. But yeah, I got a book. Also, it was in the news. The news was there. But you got a book. 
The news is like, this shit's saying local man buys black. (laughs) (laughs) Finally did it. Yeah. But, uh... Oh, and we should probably explain. That's newsworthy. That is newsworthy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And when we were walking in, it looked like we were going to be on the news. Yeah. Because we, like, walked right in front of the camera. (laughs) Yeah. But we didn't see ourselves on the news. I think it it could have been just, like... Because they were getting the guy's information who right. puts it up. Yeah, so, like, like his name and like, right. yeah. So I think just have it on record, like, here's how to spell it. Here's that what this be. is. Yeah. yeah. But we walked right in that shot, too. So it, we're, we're on film somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> We've got it in their studio. Can't get enough of being on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we try to see if we can find us. I don't think we, we did. Mm-mm. And I was going to say, we should probably explain how you bought a book when we didn't have cash. We did have yeah we we yeah uh, between the two of us we yeah. were able to scrap together like eight yeah. bucks yeah and they wanted ten for that book and we're like we got eight we got and eight guys like cool that's fine <laughs> yeah that works yeah so we spent our total eight dollars and thanks also for that <laughs> you're welcome yeah. I think I contributed like a dollar to it <laughs> <laughs> yeah I just don't carry cash you know? yeah yeah Obviously. and the cash I had was from. Um, Having money for ours, for uh, ours, for us to go to <laughs> ours, ours. It's all that uh, idols, <laughs> idols, yeah, my British good. slang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I was saying something earlier uh, yesterday. I forgot what it was. I don't know. The wheel. The dude's awesome. Joe. Joe, yeah. Uh, t- 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 Talbot. Talbot, yeah. Something like that. that. Yeah. That's a that's a good band. Mm, check them out. They're funny and cool and yeah, clever. What are you saying about horses? Horses? Oh, I was just saying that I have cash money because I've been saving it for uh, the the um, concerts I got to go to for school. Oh and yeah, just got to pay to go to school. Your required. Yeah. Attendance. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I don't. I have my first one until I think the twenty. No, something like that. I don't know. I'm also performing when this comes out too. I have to. We got to perform. And I got to play guitar in front of people. So I'm going to be playing this piece called La Grima. And it translates to Teardrop. It's supposed to be like a sexy song. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, it's weird, but. Are you going to try to play it real sexy? Yeah. Okay. Especially the part where it changes. It's just like. <laughs> you got to wait for something sexy for your performance. I might just wear a thong. Nice. I think it's perfect. I gotta cover myself up. <laughs> like in uh, Forrest Gump, like Jenny. Right. <laughs> it's tasteful. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> totally in it. Pass. Anyway. Well, speaking of guitar. Oh, yeah. Yesterday. When I went to go Look, I did a transition, cut. everyone. Yeah, that was a good one. That Thank good you. One. I think yeah. it was my first one. Thank you. Speaking of guitar, I when I got my haircut yesterday, and then we were just like, oh, let's kill some time. And we're going to go out to eat, but it's too soon to eat. So let's. We had a reservation. Yeah. yeah. And we had some time to kill before then. My guitar cables are, are just dying. So I got to go get new ones. Mm-hmm. And we got a show coming up. So I was like, well, I'm going to go help stop by Guitar Center. Uh, I know a lot of people who work there. Jared works there now. Shut so, off. Yeah. <laughs> So, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of guitar people. Center. Are, you know, I'm just gonna hang out and <laughs> at Guitar Center and be like, "Hey, what's my wife?" <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I went there to get a cable, and we just ended up looking at guitars because we had time to kill. Mm-hmm. And we saw some. Well, when we were on our way in, I was like, "I'm gonna buy a guitar today." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And okay. you're like, okay, okay, all right. So I was like them. looking at him, like, hey, which one do I want? <laughs> and I didn't realize. I mean, they do have some pretty cheap used guitars there. I thought it would be more expensive, so we bought one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, I got distracted because we live by a busy road, and yeah. a lot, a lot loud motorcycle or something just went by. Yeah, I wonder if the microphone picked it up because it was super loud. Yeah, maybe. I'll try to do some adjustments. I'm trying to make the audio a bit better, but it's it's kind of difficult when we have air running, the fridge running, we're by the highway. <laughs> can and you do an adjustment where I can like pronounce words? 
and enunciate correctly because I feel like so many times in this episode I've like said things incorrectly. Okay. Well, I said ours, so <laughs> I think that nothing tops that. Okay, back to the <laughs> back to the guitar story. We were we were looking at your guitars and there was an uh, Epiphone SG guitar and we were like, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, and I prefer the body type of an SG. Yeah. I don't know why. You should make put a little picture up here or something okay, on, yeah. if, on the YouTube video. Yeah. But uh, it looks, it's very uh, its own thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's got two little like horns yeah. on the top. I don't know. I I like it for some reason. The popular bands are like ACDC and Black Sabbath. You use the, the kind of the, the horn style. shape. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was pretty cheap. It was like 130. I was like, I shouldn't be spending money, but I do have the money to get it. So. And it's this awesome, like saturated, deep red color. Yeah. Um, it's got like a matte matte finish, though. It's not like shiny. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah, I just like the way it looks. It's me too. Cool. And it feels I liked nice. It a lot. Yeah. yeah. Just to hold it. Not super heavy. What was the guitar I picked up, and I was like, oh my god, this is so heavy. Do you remember what that was? It was like a white one. Was it that crescent? Oh, Crescent. Crescent, yeah. yeah. Which I never heard of. I never either. heard of either. So, um, okay, that makes me feel Everyone better. can make fun of me for not knowing <laughs> that. But, uh, you don't know Crescents? I don't think I do. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's pretty cool. But what they do is uh, that guitar came in the day before and they have a 10 day hold on it. Yeah, because someone was selling, like it's used and yeah. selling their own guitar. Could have been stolen though, so yeah. they got to hold it for. Right. In case the police yeah, in case, yeah. come in and <laughs> yeah, so I bought the guitar, but I, I don't have it in my possession. I have to wait. Yeah, so sad. Gotta wait a little bit. Crazy that we got it the day after it came in, though. Yeah, I'm really glad we got it. Yeah, it was definitely like I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't like super expensive, but we weren't going in there expecting to buy a yeah. thirty dollar used guitar. Yeah, you know. But I was like. I really wanted it. I don't mm. know, I even play guitar. Yeah, you feel yes. inspired to like, you know, want to learn it. So I was like, cool, yeah. I'll get it. And then we're going to have some lessons now. And uh, yeah, I was thinking like, if John doesn't buy this guitar, I'm buying it. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we need to have it. Yeah. You ever have that, like, a feeling like that about something? Like, you see it and you're like, yes, that mm -hmm. should be mine. I need to get that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, definitely with instruments, pretty much. All of them, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, okay, this is awesome. I need to have it. This is really cool. Yeah. So yeah, we, we got a guitar. This is how I felt about it. I was like, okay, we this we need to get this. Yeah, this needs to be ours. Check or out ours. the next vlog. You can see us pick it up and we'll show it off. But yeah, here's here's a, an example picture. I probably already showed it already, but uh, check out this area over here. <laughs> there should be a picture there somewhere. But yeah. We we went that we did that yeah pretty um, cool and then then we went to Papa Bean's to have a good dinner good Valentine's dinner yeah it was and, very um, good I yeah. love their sausage and peppers yeah that feels like that's good authentic Italian to me yeah. like an Italian listening to this might be like you don't know what you're talking about and you're right I don't yeah, yeah I don't know either <laughs> but I'm sure that's been around for like 400 years old yeah it's just like cast iron dish full of like marinara red sauce mm -hmm. and some italian some sausage peppers. and peppers roasted yeah. probably put under a broiler or something because it comes out kind of charred edges and stuff yeah. and so it's good. good it's good yeah i it's love good. it so, yeah every time we have it i think i need to recreate this at home but then i, I don't want to because i want it to be like a special thing we go get yeah <laughs> not an everyday thing yeah not every day, but it's good it's really good check it out it's good appetizer check it out check it out Check them out. Um, we also went to Indy. Oh, yeah. There's that that we did. We went to Ikea, of course, because it's just, you got to, you got to stop by Ikea on the way home. We went um, for an appointment that I had, and then we visited with my mom. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and yeah. Ikea. Ikea. It was cool to see your mom. That we yeah. did that. Me too. Yeah. And it was cool to see Ikea. That we did that. Yeah, very cool. And, I. Uh, I feel like I always talk about depressing things on this, yeah. but you don't have to. <laughs> you're like, yeah, you do. No, I'm just That's saying, true. like, I know what you're gonna say, and you don't have to. 
You hear what I'm going to say? Okay. Maybe it's going to be totally shocking. All right. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's hear it. I was just going to say, it can be a sad, sad time now to like visit my mom, you know, to see her declining and everything. So like, he is like a nice little cell. Is that what it's called? But yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. To like make that easier. <laughs> afterwards it's like okay let's go to ikea yeah look at all the cool stuff yeah yeah i okay. kind of figured you were gonna say something like that <laughs> you just know me so well <laughs> well ikea is dope i really like going in there and just seeing stuff and be like okay this could be our house this could be our house and yeah we can live here yeah and i then, love the little setup rooms yeah. you're like okay this is where i live now and then like i went in there like checking out the chairs and stuff and i was like okay I don't think about a studio situation and you found this really cool uh like glass display thing oh yeah and you, know, you can put your guitar pedals in there i love that idea awesome. i took a picture of it and i even wrote on you like this is what i'm saving it for like guitar pedal case that's really cool yeah so i gotta get it one day. it would look nice yeah totally with guitar pedals in it it's a perfect spot to like store them but also have them on display yeah totally so, you can easily awesome. see like what's in there which one you want to use and yeah I, I, I like that idea pretty cool i'm excited for that <laughs> i'm doing it i'm doing it you could display them like pieces of artwork where you have like light shining in different directions <laughs> down on them and stuff yeah yeah i'm doing <laughs> that yeah so yeah go to ikea if you're having a sad time <laughs> <laughs> it's a sad time. And then around go to IKEA. They need to use that in their marketing. <laughs> when it's that time, do this. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't but get yeah. any meatballs this time. We didn't. Well, we ate, we had a big lunch. Yeah, very big. Went to yeah. this Mexican place, and yeah, it was a lot of food. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cheap though too, yeah. like twenty bucks or something. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. And uh, we got a burrito that was like. Yeah bigger than your head pretty big I and i got uh, well i do have a small head. we <laughs> after i got my hair after i said it i was like i know he's gonna <laughs> yeah, say like, something like that i got my hair cut and i trimmed my beard and i'm like i gotta i gotta figure this out <laughs> <laughs> it's like i don't know man maybe i should grow a really long beard and have hair that goes up so it kind of bounces out i know i gotta lose so weight funny. i gotta work out but i have been it's like dude Gosh. well i keep eating big ass watches <laughs> <laughs> big burritos. Big burritos. Wow. All right. <laughs> You're perfect as you are. Oh, thank you. But I need I need some work done. <laughs> <laughs> some work done. <laughs> I need to do some work. I need to get things done. So funny. You're funny. <laughs> but but that, that's yes. Yeah, so I know meatballs. No, no, no. Yeah, I know meatballs because we're eating burritos. Uh, I need to make some head. Swedish meatballs. Yeah. Sometime soon. I already have next week's meals all planned out, so it has to be the week after. Okay. The week after. Yes. Um, I was going to say something about else about IKEA. Oh, we were going to buy something, but they were out of stock. So. Oh, yeah. We thought about buying a dresser. Yeah. They were having a sale on dressers. So. But it was like, not, not here. Yeah. You got to go somewhere else for mm -hmm. that. Oh, heck. Why is it? Here, it's in the inventory thing. I almost ran out of breath. I'm still mad at Ikea right now. But, yeah. I think it, it's probably a good thing, though. I'm sure yeah. they'll have another sale, and we might be in a different location than our apartment. That's true. So. Hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe it's good to wait. Hopefully something's, hopefully something's going to happen. Mm. Mm. But we don't know yet, so we're going to not talk about it. That sounds good. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is, are we, I like how you're are asking we doing me that. that? Like, so we're not going to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, that's pretty much it, though. All the things that we did. Oh, look, you can see the sun on your guitar. You see the sun? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Huh. Like in the trees. Shiny. Yeah. It's my, <laughs> my squire over there. All right. Hey, I don't, have, I, got. I don't own an Epiphone. Now I do. I just got to pick it up. Yeah. But you co-own it. I co-own it. It's like Dark Center also owns it. What about me? Oh, I thought you meant like <laughs> where it's living at right now. 
Yeah, yeah, you too. <laughs> oh yeah, guitar center kind guitar of thing too. Well, because it's there. That's what, that's what I thought you were saying. They're just holding it. They're just holding it. Hostage. Right. Thanks, Jared, for uh, keeping it safe. Yeah. But yeah. We got a picture of it all nestled away. Yeah. The sleeping. blanket wrapped around yeah, it. Are you yeah. sleeping? It's like, nice. I made the joke when we were in there. He's like, we can hold it, you know, yeah. till the police hold or whatever is up, 10 days. And uh, I was like, okay, put a little blanket on it. And then he did. So I appreciate okay. that they did that. But yeah. <laughs> funny. But uh, I guess it's it. Then. Okay. We got to go eat somewhere. Not at Papa Pino's. Why not? I wish. We can go somewhere else and switch with the P. Panera! <laughs> <laughs> Are we just so basic? I mean, we could have. I think we, we talked about being basic before. Hut. Oh yeah, oh, they kind of yeah. are. Papa yeah, John's. I'm cool with it. Yeah, sometimes you gotta be basic. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta be predictable. That's true. It's another P word. I like to call it reliable. Reliable. Not, not predictable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, none of that. All right. You gotta keep them guessing. A little yeah, bit. a little bit sometimes, but then you also gotta be like, you know what? They're probably doing this right now. <laughs> And yeah. Oh, and yeah, anyone who watches our videos can probably guess exactly what we're doing at any moment. Yeah. Any specific moment. And I'm going to go ahead and put this poster up in Panera, even nice. if we're not eating there. Oh, and then you know, there might be some Leatherface posters beside this, too. So. Yeah. Two birds with one stone. Or, or pet two dogs with one hand. Yeah. Guys, it's that. a saying I made up. That's pretty good. I think so too. It's pretty good. It's nicer than killing two birds yeah. with one stone. You right. have to pet two dogs with one hand. Yeah. It's so good. That's a good one. So start using that. Yeah, do it. And on that note. Or maybe I should trademark it. Ooh. Trademark. Trademark. Yeah. <laughs> then here. Patent. Okay. Okay. Let's wrap this up. Okay. So I always forget how to do our endings. <laughs> I think I start. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Thanks everybody for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. And check out our social media. We have Instagram and Facebook. And yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. I, I think, think I those... pretty much always say the same way. And I think there's more, but there's not. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> we have like we we have like somewhere right now, like this is what we're gonna say, and it's been changing all the time. But we used it for a little bit, but yeah, then we're like, we got it. Yeah, and we're like, we don't got it. <laughs> but um yeah so you listen to this on spotify we also got it up on iHeartRadio, um other things and some other things yeah figure it, it right out. out yeah yeah <laughs> apple music or yeah apple podcasts and stuff like that and uh if you're listening to it you can watch it up on youtube yeah we got it up on youtube leave a yeah. comment below about what's going on in your area and uh if you're gonna attend all the leather phase and pmf stuff that we're doing yeah we, we got to meet up and say, hey, what's up? And then or tell, us, or tell us how you feel about Ikea. Yeah. SG I know some people hate it. It can be polarizing. Oh, yeah. There's an article saying like a lot of relationships. Oh, yeah. It can and, be a relationship killer, I guess. Yeah. Ours, Something ours, about ours totally strengthened. Everything totally. Right 100%. Like, yes. Got to get that yeah. guitar pedal case. Yeah. We're, we both leave feeling like. Okay, we're gonna like yeah. work real hard and make so much money, and we're yeah. gonna have like an awesome house. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. So, give us your opinions on that. Yeah, what do you think about IKEA? Yeah, tell us now. Do you like meatballs? Hmm. Lingonberries. Hmm. What else? Did I have? <laughs> <laughs> Some weird sodas. Hmm? <laughs> and yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. thanks everybody for hanging out. Oh, we got a Patreon. Check that out. Thanks to our Patreons that we have out there. It could now finally be plural. Yes. Patreons. Yeah. All right. And that's it. Yeah. We're going to eat now. <laughs> Bye. Bye.